Hello, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Ken. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you have not subscribed, I would highly recommend that you subscribe. Um, for the simple reason that when I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. Today, I'm going to be looking at the MediaShare wireless. So um, keep watching and um, enjoy. Okay, as I told you in the interview in intro I am going to review the media share wireless from verbatim now it's I've had this for about two months now and it is extremely good there's one or two little things that I found out about it but I will tell you that later on in the video. So um, keep watching. Thank you. Okay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my introduction today, I'm going to review the MediaShare wireless by verbatim. Now, basically, this is a very handy little um wireless device it will allow you to connect up to five i think it's five um five devices to it and allow you to stream high definition video so you can share this out with all your friends now okay you can download you can download and install a little app onto your phone or we yeah, have on your phone that will allow you to connect to the the media share now it's got four LEDs on it these LEDs these LEDs basically tell you when it, that, that your device is on you are accessing whichever device is connected to your media share you've got wireless and this one here is for hot mobile hotspot now you can connect your USB key or your SD card there is no there is no um, internal memory so it's basically uh, shell the battery life in your device will power your media share device for nine hours the you can actually connect your phone to the USB port and charge your phone via your USB cable from this which is very handy to have. So it's basically a backup power block. The, I'll take it out. It comes very well packed. It has I just put these instructions underneath before the video. It comes with a little quick start guide which has everything you need. It is in English and it's in all the major languages. So you can read that if you get if you get the voice yourself. So um 
It's very handy to have. The media share, this device here, you've got a reset button in the middle, you've got your USB port and you've got your SD slot. On the side here, you've got your micro USB to let you charge the device and your on off button. That's everything. That's it. Basically, that's it. So, it's very handy to have. It allows you, if you, what I use also here, sorry, cable. You get a charging cable with the, which device? I haven't used it because I've got so many cables. So, You come, it comes in with, with a USB 2 uh, cable, which is, works the dream. Now, the device itself. The device, um, the front of it is all, it's kind of plastic, but it's, it's not a, a smooth plastic, it's kind of rough. The underneath looks like metal, but you can hear that, I think it's plastic as well. So I'm guessing all the electronics are on there. You, what you, basically what you do is you turn on the, the device by pressing and holding in the power button and then a power button comes on and that's it that now your device is on the flashing blue led indicates that it's searching for a wireless connection so it's broadcasting wireless your phone can now connect to it basically what you do is you go to your wireless settings on your well, you go to war you now that the solid blue indicates that it has acquired a mobile device, so it's probably connected to my phone now. What what you do on your phone? You go to your Wi-Fi settings. You will see verbatim, and then the last four digits will be the the MAC address, which is down here. It's on the back here. So basically you have your verbatim, then the last four digits of your MAC address, and you connect to that in your Wi-Fi settings. You're then connected to the device. You can connect your USB key and then access the, the files on your phone or your SD card, whichever you want. So, look, it's a very good device. I will say the only things I found out about it are that if you have um, if you have a case on your phone, which a lot of people have on their phones nowadays, you need to take the case, take the phone out of the case. If you have a case on your phone, you need to take your phone out of your case and then turn on the turn on the device when you've done that you can connect the connect the device and you can then access the files on on your usb card key or your sd card whichever one you want so i've found two issues with these they're not really issues, they're just things that annoy, the annoying things. If you have your a non-stable wireless signal going to your phone and you have different wireless 
options within your house like we do. If it if the phone loses signal to the wireless signal on your vibratum, it will automatically connect to another device, the wireless signal. Or your phone will, sorry. Your phone will connect automatically to another wireless signal. That will interfere with the transfer of files to and um, from the device. So make sure you have a stable connection and make sure you have your case off your phone. That's the only thing that I would find. Other than that, it's a fantastic little device. It's, I can't remember how much it was. I'll have to check that out. And I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it down in the corner here somewhere. How much I pay for it. So, Look, it's a, it's a great little device. It will speed up the process of transferring files. So if you have a USB key, like I usually do, I usually have a USB key lying around, but guess what? When you, find, when you, want, when you want them, you can't find them. So, your USB key slots in there and you can access the USB key from your phone through the wireless signal to this. Um, so I would rec it, recommend it to anybody. It's a nice little device. It's not expensive. It's um, if you want something cheap and if you want something that that won't break if you want something cheap and won't break the bank I would recommend the VidaShare wireless by Verbatim so it's a nice little device I don't have the measurements, but if you are curious, um, put, put, mention in the com ask me questions in the comment section, and I will check them out for you. So you're, you, you've only got two slots, which is, it was okay. Um, if you got a micro SD card, a micro SD card, and you've got an SD adapter, you can put the micro SD into your SD adapter and then put it into the slot. So you've plenty of options. You've got SD, micro SD, or USB. And you can charge your phone from this as well, which is perfect. So yeah, I would highly recommend this. It's, um, it's a nice little device. As I said, all you need to do is download and install the app to allow you to transfer files. That's all you need to do for you. So I would recommend buying this. Just take, if you have your, a modern phone, take your phone out of your case and make sure it's a stable connection and you don't have if you if you have um wireless a wireless signal in your house to automatically connect your phone if you can don't use it turn it off or um Reconfigure it in your phone and not connect automatically because sometimes you may lose signal on this. Sometimes you may lose signal on this, but it's not, it's not main major issue. Um, 
as I said, just make sure you have the phone, the phone edited case. And then um, you have the phone next to this device. So um, best of luck and I'll talk to you again. Thank you. Bye.